Hey everyone, welcome back. Crown Geek here. So in this video, I am going to share the best and the easiest way to change the IP address on your Windows 11 or Windows 10. So the method will be applicable for both the operating systems. First, you need to click on your Windows search and type here ncpa.cpl. Very simple command and hit the enter key. This command will bring up the network connection displaying all kind of your network adapter. Here you have to look for the one with which you are being connected and for which you have to change the IP address. So I'm not using the Wi-Fi here, so I have to go with the Ethernet. So I will make a right click on it and first I will click on status to find out that what is my current status. Then I have to click on details. Now it shows me that what is my current IP address which is 192.168.130. And the DHCP has been enabled. DHCP is dynamic host control protocol that automatically assign you the IP address and it automatically get changed. Below are my other detail like the subnet mask and the DHCP and DNS server. So this is exactly what we will be changing. So you have to click on close now. And from here only you will have to click on properties. Then here you have to look for internet protocol version 4 TCP IP version 4. Make a double click on it and this will bring up this kind of box here. And when it says obtain an IP address automatically, it means that the DHCP is working here and it's automatically assigning the IP address. So in order to change the IP address here, we have to switch from the DHCP to the static. So choose the second option here that says use the following IP address. And here you have to fill the IP address, subnet mask and default gateway. Now here you cannot type any IP address and you need to find out the one that you can use. So in order to find out, click on your Windows search, type cmd, right click on the command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes. Now here we have to run a simple command that will be ipconfig and hit the enter key. And this will display the information of all the adapter device connected on your computer. Now we have to look for the Ethernet as I'm using the Ethernet here. So in order to find out the available IP address for you, you will have to run the another command and that will be ARP space dash A and hit the enter key. And after running this command, this might show you a different kind of interface. You will have to look for the one that is containing your IP address. This is the one that we are looking for. Now once you come up here in the internet address here, you can see the first IP is 192.168.206.1 and the last one will be 192.168.206.254. So you will have to take any number between these. But if I check here, dot .1, dot .2, dot .130 are already been taken. I can look for other number here. So what I would recommend you, what I would suggest you, take any number between 1 and 254. As these three numbers will be the same, 192.168.206, 192.168.206. So we have to change basically this number, the last one. So as I said, 1, 2, 254, 130 are already been taken. So we can assume any number between this. Like on my example, I can take around 40 or 42. So it can be 192.168.206.142. So I will type here 192.168.206. And then I will take any number that can be like 40, 45. So I will take 45. Subnet mask, as soon as you will click on it, it will automatically take something. Default gateway, you can already find by scrolling up. Here is the default gateway. 192. 168 206 and 2. Now below you'll find the preferred DNS server address. By default it automatically take uh, your internet service provider one. But what I would recommend you that either go with the Cloudflare or the Google. I personally use the Cloudflare so you can also go with the same. I will leave both the IP address in the description. So for the Cloudflare the preferred will be 1 1 1 and 1 and alternate will be 1 0 0 and 1. Next you have to click on OK and click on OK. Now keep in mind in case the 
IP address that we change if it doesn't work like 45 doesn't work then you can change that to 46 42 45 50 60 or 70 okay now as soon as I clicked on okay so you can see that it says IP version 4 connectivity internet and it indicate that the IP address has been successfully changed so again if I close this then again if I make a right click on the ethernet and go to status click on details you can see here the IP version 4 address has been changed to 206.45 which we changed just now and even you can see that DHCP has been disabled earlier it was saying yes now it's saying no below the DNS server address are also being changed and similarly in the same way if you want to change the IP address again then you can follow the same procedure and instead of 45 next time you can take 47 50, 65, 69, 72, 75, whatever you want to. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you will find this information useful. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.